like a hundred to stop. Yeah. Hey, was the bathroom open in there? Yeah. Why don't? Hey, no, no line in the bathroom. No line in the bathroom. You see the building? No line in the bathroom. No line in the bathroom. I think, uh, Yeah, that picture was. Oh, the wing. Uh, there's, there's oh, no. I'm okay. I'm okay. I got everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to get rid of it? I was like, no, man. Yeah, no, it's like, yeah, it's like nostalgic to the fucking. Yeah. Hey, remember those fucking 90s stereos where they got the fucking brushes in the face? What is up, everyone? Welcome back. So. We are going to be doing some work on the RBS 13. So the cluster, as you can see in here, let me get this wheel off. Down there, I can kinda rig the ECU to stay up, it'll slide it around. So I need to figure out something for that. Um, but as you can see, the RPM gauge it's like it's like an RPM from another car I want to say so we're gonna be that one goes 9,000 but I'm just gonna put this stock one in so at least it looks clean like I said I really don't watch the gauge when I drive I just listen to the engine but just when I do look at it I that just bothers me seeing the gap in there so we're going to remove this stuff here to get to that. Do I know what I'm doing? Hell no. So, I got to watch a quick video on YouTube, see how people take this out, because I can't break this just because it's a uh, hard part to get. So, I got to make sure I don't crack anything, and then we'll figure out what I need to take. Because I've seen some videos where they take off this panel, this panel, and then work their way under here. So, and I don't mind doing all that just because I would like to see what's all under here so I can fix whatever that may need, you know, maintenance. So, RBS 13's running great. Still got to do oil change though. Um, everything in the back is still good. Um, I don't have the bucket seat in here just because I don't fit. So, I'm gonna need to probably order NRG rails see if they'll sit lower but i'm struggling with getting the correct rails for this car because i'm just so damn tall so all right let me get uh started i'm gonna watch a video on how they do it what's the correct way because i need to see what's the best way i don't do no damaging to nothing because i don't want to mess up parts that are very expensive to get now so all right let me go ahead and uh watch a video and i'll see you guys in a little bit all right, from the video I saw on YouTube, it's like a five-year-old video. So we take off this panel, fuse panel here, under panel, steering wheel cover, and then we drop the two bolts, which drop the steering wheel down a little bit more. And then we take these top two here and uh, wiggle it out like this so, and then these plugs are all the same, so I gotta make sure I plug each one correctly back into place. And that's pretty much it. It's just, I'm so out of it, I don't wanna do this. <laughs> but I gotta get it done. So, I'm gonna remove the floor mat and get this going. So, I'll put you guys on a little, uh, I'm gonna do time lapse. It's just removing bolts. I don't know if you guys wanna see that, but. I guess I'll do a little time lapse for you guys. So I'm just removing screws. But I'm gonna organize everything. So all the screws that I pull from, I will keep it with each plastic and just line them up in the front of the car. So I know how many goes to where and if I'm missing, I know what to replace. So I'm gonna do that, so. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll set the camera up and then um, play some music in the background. For me, not for you guys and just get in the zone. All right, 
right, so first step, took the panel off, took uh, this side, the foot uh, rests. Um, check out the battery. Sure looking good. So this is where the fuse box is. Fuses look good. Wiring looks pretty good. So I just gotta drop these out. And then there should be one out right there. So at least we're good. Um, yeah, and then I'll vacuum this. This is pretty dirty. So I'll vacuum all that. Um, reason why, honestly, I don't like doing work. I always work overtime to have someone do my installations and stuff is because um, three years ago I was in a bad accident, which I messed up my back. So after doing this, I'm going to be in pain. So part of uh, having an injury and back surgery. So I'm going to go ahead and finish complete. I got to take this off now. So I got to drop that bolt. Oh, shoot. Good. Techno lights. And then, um, Drop wheel one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm just keeping everything together. So plastic goes there, there, and there. And I'm just gonna do on so on. And it's funny, this little set here is my first tool set I ever bought back in 99 out of high school. So yeah, I'm old. Yeah, so I'm gonna vacuum all this after I'm done. And then, um, wipe it down so as you can see the car was originally black it was a black 240 so nice I like that so I actually might uh, we'll see <laughs> don't want to give anything away yet but yeah let me keep going all right so I have no idea what this is um, I don't want to mess it up so I'm gonna take the hood latch off I'll slide this out all right pretty sure just leave this here like this but I don't know what this wire is. And I said, I don't know nothing about the swap because I didn't do it. So I just want to make sure I don't mess nothing up if it's... Is this for the amp? Because I have these amp wires. I think, I think this is for the stereo was in here before. I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm going to be taking this to a mechanic. But you guys should all know. And he is based in San Jose, and I'm waiting for him to give me a call. So if you're watching the video, bro, hit me up, man. Why don't you drop this off so we can get this going and go slide together? So, um, yeah, so those screws are there. Um, I gotta see where these screws are for this piece, but I wanna take this one off first. And then um, I'm not gonna touch what's. I don't know what this cable is I'm tripping. So I gotta hopefully don't run to the ECU over there. So but yeah, let me just keep going. I won't touch it. <laughs> so this is a 12 millimeter, this bolt there and right there. So I'm gonna pop those and it should drop the neck on the steering wheel. And let's should... oh, This is not easy. This is hard. This part, I had to get the clips out. I was fighting with the headlight or the pop-up light switch had to pop it out this way just to connect it from the back that wasn't fun and I guess still gotta do this side because the harness has no slack so I only have like this much space to get my finger in there and try to pop everything so this is just ooh, it's one hell of a work so I gotta just disconnect these three still and then I'll pull it out this side, pull it out. So let me put this down, cause boy, this is not easy being in a small area, being a big guy either. So let me go ahead and figure this out. Cause I don't, don't want to crack nothing. So that's what I'm worried about. So let me go ahead and take my time and then um, 
I'll explain to you guys what I did when I finally get it out. Oh boy, so finally got it out. It was not easy. This was getting hung up on it. So that was the part getting this part piece stuck, and that's usually what I see what people break. Glad I got it off. Uh, scale, how easy it is to take it off. Yeah, it should tell hard. Because that's the part that you don't want to break. So, like I said, I'm not a mechanic. I just do YouTube steps. YouTube. YouTube. I do YouTube shit. And, yeah, it sucks. So, three screws left. Sides out. I disconnect three connections. I do already have LED, LED lights connected. Three points or three spots. I didn't do any here just the three main ones so it's brighter when I drive because this is very dim and I believe they're 194 size so let me go ahead and uh, screw these three and then swap that on and then uh, we'll turn on the headlights and so make sure that they'll still work so um, I'll swap it and we'll make sure those lights work so all right let me do this real quick All right, so it's off. It looks like it was soldered on here to get it working. So, but we'll be using this now. So, I can take this off and play with the cluster and check it out. But yeah, at least it's off. We're done. Now I just gotta plug this in and make sure it works. So, I'm tired. This is. Not what I like to do, so I'm gonna actually clean this out, dust it out, and then um, clean it before I install it. So let me do that real quick, and then I'll have everything back together and show you guys. Alright, so I didn't wipe it yet, I just want to plug it in and see if it lights up. It is hella sunny outside, so at least we got power from the clock here, so that's good news. Lights, <laughs> what the fuck? So I see that light up for high beams. This bit. Oh my god, it works. Oh, thank god. So, LED bulbs, if you don't know, like I didn't know, if you put them inside, upside down, they don't turn on. I flipped these two and now I got light. Hell yeah. RPM works. Gauge works. Um, yeah, that's, I don't have that much fuel like that, but hey, everything's working. his 240 uh, his uh, s14 
Um, his daughter has a dope ass MR2. His son has a sick ass SC300. I mean, it's a dope ass lineup. Go give my boy a follow and uh, let him know thank you for uh, helping me out with this cluster because this is a big deal to me. So thank you so much, Johnny. Let me go ahead and uh, put everything back together, turn off the car so it can also get in the house to my parents. And we are uh, good to go. So I'm happy. God, I'm so happy.